am Christine McKay with Northridge Publishing, and we have Kara Henry with us today, and we are going to do a product review on a great product. Every time that I go to the scrapbook store, I see this sitting on the shelf, <laughs> and it's this great little uh, product called Smooch, and it always catches my eye because the bottles are just so stinking cute. Aren't they so adorable? <laughs> So fun. So I was excited to have you try this product out and tell me a little bit about it and what you loved. All right. Well, it's kind of, it's fun. It's a, uh, you can paint with it. It's got a great little brush in here. Here, I'll show you. So you would expect maybe it would look like nail polish yeah. brush, but it's not. It's got a little pointed brush so you can do really detailed work. Oh, so it's really fine. So you can mm -hmm. really outline and get into the little areas. Right. So it's perfect for painting stamped images, mm -hmm. but it also does a lot more than that. Okay, well, I'm excited. Show me some of these great projects and, and right. some of the techniques that you use. Let's start with this one right here. Okay, so for this one, on this card, I used it on these acrylic um, shapes right here. And if you're going to do it on something that's not porous like that, you want to hit it with a heat gun. And it's kind of fun on this. I burned it a little bit, but it kind of it made kind that, of gave yeah, it a really cool effect on that. Me. That is really cool. And you're right that the, the brush really is fine. So you mm -hmm. can do some really um, f small detailed work. Okay. So tell me about this one right here, which I love. Because they're metallic, they show up really well on those dark, on the dark cards. So I painted all these little hearts here and that's really fun. And then I also hit the flower with it and the Metal Brad has a little piece of it on there too, which I did get with the heat gun too. So what were some of the benefits that you found like from some of the fun things or the unique things about this product versus using markers or anything else? Well, I really like that, um, well, metallic pens I've noticed don't always show up really well on dark papers, but these were great. Oh, and yeah. you, they were, you could get really detailed with them more than I was expecting, which was really fun. Um, I think that you can write on metals a lot better. They covered um, metals more than I would expect with a pen. Oh, for sure. That is great. And did you use some right here on this? I did. I printed out my friends and then painted over it. And you can see how how precise I got with it. I love it. It really does add just a unique look that, like you said, I don't think that you could get that with markers or pens. Not exactly like that, no. And it, it's thicker. You get a more... I, I it almost know, gives it like intense. a little bit of a yeah. texture to it. Okay, so let me see this. This little, this, this is the one that right I here. painted. My image more. Okay, that painted. is really cute. So that's just that same stamped image that you mm -hmm. went through and just detailed it. Exactly. And is this right here, is this some of the smooch product as well? Yeah, around that. So you can also use it to distress with. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay, now this one on the end is my very favorite. So cute. Tell me a little bit about this. All right, this I used it on the glass here and I, took and you I, you want to make sure it's really clean of course and then I did it on the front of the glass and then once it was really dry I hit it with a heat gun and left it overnight I turned it over and did some designs on the back and then just put it over okay my that is really cool because it kind of gives it like a a 3D effect. Yeah. <laughs> that is really neat. And one of the things that I noticed that's really great about the Smooch product is they come in so many different yes. colors. And it's really affordable. And it seems like that one of these would last a long, long time. They really would. I mean, they're small bottles, but you don't use a lot on your projects. Great. Kara, thank you so much. I can't wait to go home and start trying it out on all different oh, things. No. I'm definitely going to do that glass idea. For more great ideas, you can check out some of our other tips and tricks um, videos on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe because every once in a while, I'll throw a little bonus to our subscribers, different uh, uh, deals or discounts. And you can also just be just endlessly inspired.